Hi, I'm Sonia, Intuitive Empress. This is a collective reading. Tarot reading, don't try and force the crown to fit. It might belong to a different king or queen and know that it can be flipped around because it's a universal crown. So any take it resonates, leave the rest with someone else and know that it can be flipped around with the person you're dealing with. So, hopefully you're having a great end of your week. Yay, it's Friday. Fry yay. Let's see what we have for you. It's going to be a great weekend. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, look, so let's go. So this is you going with it and healing, having some time out. This is rest and recovery. Looks like you're recovering from something that was a bit disappointing. There could have been a third party situation or it could have been that there was some sort of disappointment. Someone here has hurt you. This is recovering from heartbreak. This is maybe someone who loved to party or somebody here... Maybe you're kind of like letting your hair down and you're going partying with the girls or the boys and you're having some great times with some friends, some people that you that love you, some people that you can just be yourself because it looks like you've actually been really disappointed. This is someone here who's crying over spilt milk. These cups are spilt here. looks like that somebody has really disappointed you and they've left you out in the cold maybe because this looks like it's a soulmate that's been left behind. So now you're resting and recovering. So this is actually, maybe there was some other third party situation. It could have been something else that was in the way. Like a, you know, like work got in the way. Or like family and friends and, you know, all these other people gossiping as well. So we have gossip as well. It looks like it could have been a marriage situation or some sort of commitment. Some commitment situation. And now you're healing from this. This is you going in within having time out to heal. Looks like you're kind of a goner. But I think this is actually more that you're actually having time to recover from this horrible situation, whatever's happened here. Oh, it looks like it's horrible, right? Because we have the devil, so it looks like it could have been a toxic situation. Someone really loved to party. Someone loved the booze or the beer or the barrels or the something. <laughs> so somebody here had some bad habits. Maybe you had bad habits of going back to this person. Maybe you were chained to them and you kind of needed to cut yourself free. Because it could have been some sort of codependency, addictions, you know, like um, gambling and freaking all sorts of stuff. So this has been a little bit difficult. This has been a kind of toxic situation. Could have been also a Capricorn you're dealing with. <laughs> oh, it looks like they were wishy-washy. Wishy-washy comes again. Here he comes and there he goes. Comes one day and he's gone the next. This person's down on his knee but he's only present presenting you with a wand. This wand just looks like it's a fake. It's a fake wand. They haven't got anything there to present you at all. This is just something that they present to everybody. And then they're gone. So it looks like you got a crossroads now. This is a one and a two. So it looks like you are starting again. This is a new beginning. This is a passionate new beginning. You're at a crossroads here. You need to make some decisions because it looks like you have a passionate new beginning after this toxic situation with this wishy-washy wishy-washy day so this is the distant past this is somebody here who's been a little bit budget maybe you've been kind of holding on to something this person's holding tightly to their coins look at this person they don't really want to share very much do they maybe it means that you've been st stable in the past but no it looks like that this person has been giving you anxiety and sleepless nights this person really was a bit budget and it looks like you've had a difficult time in the distant past and you've been up all night wondering, worrying, anxiety. But it looks like now you're very independent. You're really good on your own. This is the distant past as well. So you've tamed that beast like you've tamed that bird on your hands. So maybe in the past you've had some sort of person who was budget. They were holding on to you maybe. Or you've been holding on to them. And it's given you a lot of anxiety. But now it looks like you've got, you know, independence. You're very good on your own. You're really abundant on your own. Ooh. So recently, this is judgment. So this is actually you kind of needing to forgive yourself. Maybe it could be you're moving or you might be moving here. So this could be like seeing the truth of things. Maybe you need to forgive yourself for the situation or maybe you need to forgive the other person and just let it go. You could be kind of, this could be that you need to let go and learn that there's, you know, realize that there's something that you've had to learn in the situation and you've needed to trust your intuition as well. So this is actually knowing that you have to let it go to the universe and let them do the job of, you know, bringing the karma or whatever, the judgment. Um, but it looks like actually you have generational wealth as well. So you're very intuitive. Generational wealth. This is like you could be getting, you know, amazing wealth coming towards you. And it's also your reward. Your rewards are coming in. 
But somebody here has been hiding something. This is actually something that's been hidden. Someone is in the cold and they're maybe hiding how they felt. Maybe they're, they're in the cold because they've been hiding stuff. And there's a lot being hidden here. So this is actually interesting. Looks like that this is a judgment. This person's in the cold because they've been hiding stuff. And it's like their judgment because now they're in the cold. They're missing out while you're getting this amazing wealth because you are so intuitive. It's like you're getting blessings from the universe while this other person's in the cold. And they're watching because they're still hiding stuff. Oh dear. <laughs> so this is your thoughts. You're thinking about this wishy-washy. How was that? Yep, you're thinking about the wishy-washy. Oh, poor old wishy-washy in the cold. Oh, look at that. There's a lot of conflict and drama around this person. So you're kind of done with this situation, with this conflict and this drama. This is a whole lot of people that's involved with this wishy-washy. Look at all these people. This is like a conflict between light and the dark. So there's a lot of people that's been involved here. And you're taking a leap of faith into a new beginning, it looks like. Wishy-washy, goodbye. You're going for new now. New year, new moon. Is it the new moon? It might be. Just about. So this is actually your future. This is a passionate new beginning. Woohoo! So this is you starting out on something new. This is you focusing on your work. This is you doing very well in your job. This is actually you building something amazing and other people looking up to you and seeing how well you're doing and they're like, woohoo, passionate new beginning as well as starting out something amazing. You're really doing really well at your job. You're creating this new world. And this is a bit of a shock to somebody. This is a shocking event. There's some sort of shocking event. What is this shocking event? So in the future, there's some sort of shake-up. This is a much-needed shake-up. Spirit brings down the tower because there's something that's built on faulty foundation. So it looks like you get a passion at new beginning where you're focusing on your work and you're building something amazing. But it looks like some sort of event, which is going to be a shock. We'll see in the end what that is. Goodness me. So your fears are this masculine. So this could be your counterpart match. you are kind of got fears about this person. They could be a little bit stubborn and not really showing their emotions, but they actually are usually very stable. But somehow you've got a lot of fears around this person. Oh, it looks like they have been a bit budget. So this is actually that bit of a poverty mindset. Someone's been holding on to something. So this is actually... You having very strong boundaries. This is you kind of like very strong and very icy, icy cold. Watch out with your words because you can be a bit cutting with your sword like the sharp tongue. But you're actually, this is also Libra Gemini Aquarius. You don't have to be, but it could be that you're very strong and very cold and you've got very strong boundaries. You know what you want now and you know what you'll not tolerate. Somebody's trying to manifest you. They're trying to manifest to come towards you. They are, this possibly could be an Aries, this person embodies all the kings of the deck, this person is actually very stable, but they can be very controlling with their emotions and won't really be showing it much. Uh, so other people see you as very focused on your work, you're doing very well in your job and you really are just building something awesome, but also that you're walking away, you're walking away from the burdens, you're dropping your burdens, so you, there's something here that you're walking away from. Maybe you've put in enough work and you're walking away from some situation which has been really hard work for you. This is also a very big burden. So you really put this burden down and walk away from it. Could be that you're walking away from a job or some situation which is linking a headache. <laughs> ah, dropping some... <gasps> Good. So this is actually hopes. You're hoping that you can move down this new pathway. This is like a crossroad. You need to make a decision. You're hoping that you can move away from this toxic situation where you're being bound, gagged and blindfolded. Wake up and smell the roses because it's like you're having to make a decision. Do you go stay stuck in the situation where you're blindfolded or do you move down this new pathway into a positive new cycle? Because it looks like you've been going round and round on a merry go round, round, whatever you call it, and you're kind of like done with that. This is a toxic Karmic situation, you need to cut yourself out and make a decision. Do you move forward into this positive new beginning where you're getting rewards coming in, or do you stay stuck in this situation? You're hoping that you can move forward and can make the decision, but it's your choice because you're the ones that have to make this decision. Hmm. <laughs> the outcomers. <clears throat> the star. Wow, no choking. The star. So you're the star of your show. You could be actually famous or something. You must be getting some sort of recognition. <coughs> this is Aquarius energy as well. This is also wish fulfillment after healing. This is a beautiful card to end on. 
So it's an ending, so it's a new beginning as well. So this is Scorpio energy and Aquarius. So this is an ending of something and it's a new beginning of something else. So and look at you. Look at you bossing up and looking beautiful. You could be masculine or feminine, but this is a feminine energy. But you could be female or male and embody this beautiful energy. This is manifesting energy. This is energy where you are going to be really shining, really beautiful. Leo Sagittarius and Aries energy. You don't have to be though. And you are manifesting. You might have a cat even. And also you're getting wish fulfillment. This is beautiful wish fulfillment. So you be careful what you're thinking about because you're manifesting it as well, remember? And it looks like a passionate new beginning. You're focusing on yourself, loving yourself, filling your cup. This is a passionate new beginning. We are moving forward slowly but surely. And also this is somebody here who could be coming forward, who could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or this could be you moving forward methodically and slowly. Get your stuff together and move forward. So you're filling your own cup. But also that... There's another card which is on the floor, Five of Swords, which is Trickery and Thievery. So you're moving forward from Trickery and Thievery because it's been thrown on the floor. So I'm very happy to hear that, that you're moving forward, 11-11 on the clock. So this is actually meant to be, you're moving forward from any conflict and drama and you're walking away from any kind of ridiculous rubbish that you've been sort, you know, going through wishy-washy mongrel stuff. So very happy for you. Bye.